There are some caves in a forest in Gilgil that have housed a particular community for the past 32 years. And it's not a small community after all. Now there are about 500 people living in the caves. Yana is Gideon's Kamcha Menza who visited the cave dwellers and now shares their plight. A few kilometers from Kongasi center Gilgil town lies Utut forest. <laughs> At a glance, it is impossible to tell that there are human beings living in caves within this forest. <laughs> it is a hard terrain. <laughs> but not for Charles Chipconi. This has been his home for the last 20 years. And at one point, he lived here with his wife and children. <laughs> His is not the only cave here. Chipconi is just one among 500 inhabitants of these caves. Waja kuhizu kwa hima pango, nishida. Siku menda kuetu. Kaze makana watu wanachomu maka hapa. Tupate chakula ya kukula. Utafanya nini, utakula nini na watoto. Mpaka, watu wale tulipuwa kwa nhawa pamocha. The residents claim to have relocated here after they found themselves landless at a place in Lari in 1982 and the caves came in handy but not just for accommodation. Many eyed the charcoal burning business, a business they say up to date puts food on their tables. Wakati ili antikiana, wakasemakana hii kitambulisho si ni ya wapi, si ya nakuru. Hati sasa hii kitambulisho kumanya hako kitambulisho kutoka na kutoka paringu, kutoka wapi, kutoka wapi. Sasa, sisi ya kupata shamba. Wakasemakana hii kitambulisho ni mwenye and <laughs> Eh, sasa watoto wakitembea inje anasema mnaaribu kitu yetu mpaka mumpa ikaanguka but even as dangerous as it may seem these caves have for a long time provided shelter to over 500 people living in Utut 30 years down the line, the inhabitants have had to contend with various challenges, including attacks by wild animals. And now there's an entirely new problem, that of environmental degradation. Yes, they claim that they have all suffered a mysterious disease allegedly caused by insect bites. And they also claim that for some unknown reasons, some of them are slowly losing their eyesight and even parts of their bodies. Yes, sir. Ah. What is happening? So, what is happening? Yes. 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 A certain section within the forest has been set aside for Sunday prayers. The residents meet here to exchange ideas and offer solace to one another. Wengine Na upande mungine wanatuletea matibabu. Kamchemenza KTN in Utut, Gilgil, Nakuru County.